the seed oils that we call them, you know, things like corn oil, safflower oil, canola, soybean, peanut, they're all seeds. Well, a lot of people think you just squeeze them and out comes the oil. Um, you will get some oil, of course, if you squeeze them hard enough. But those oils are ground up, dried, and extracted with a solvent. And uh, most of the time that solvent is hexane, which is, of course, a fairly toxic substance. Now, the hexane then is removed from that product, and that product is refined, so you end up with the oil out of there and not the hexane. But that's not a very natural process, so most people are kind of surprised when they hear that peanut oil and corn oil and safflower oil and all those different kinds of seed oils are all solvent extracted. There's a couple of exceptions. Uh, one is olive oil, and the other one is avocado oil. Uh, the amount of energy that it takes to extract that is far less than it takes, because one of the things you have to remember now, if you're solvent extracting something, you've got a, this, the solvent, this hexane, it dissolves all the oil, let's say it's peanut oil or corn oil or something. Now you've got this product, that has to be heated, and you have to volatilize off the solvent to end up with this product that you have at the end. Then that needs to be refined, and that refining process is heating it, deodorizing it, removing the color. Uh, and so, you know, you're, it's quite an energy process to produce, um, produce a gallon of uh, seed oil compared to a gallon of olive oil. Now, the reason why olive oil is much more expensive is because olives grow on a tree, they're more difficult to harvest, yield per unit area is less, we grow great big fields of grains, seeds, and we harvest them with a combine, and so uh, just by volume we can produce the seed oil, even with that process, that high energy process, cheaper. That's why a, a bottle of corn oil is cheaper than a bottle of olive oil. Olive oil is a very green product. One of the reasons is because it can be grown locally on a more smaller scale. Uh, small scale friendly uh, uh, situation. So you could produce this product locally and sell it locally and not have to transport it very far. So it's green from that standpoint, which is very nice. The other thing is what we had been talking about earlier, which is the, the extraction method. It's just a mechanical process. You harvest the olives from the tree, crush them, doesn't take much energy to do that. Spin it, doesn't take a lot of energy to do that. And you essentially have olive oil stored in a tank. Whereas these other systems require mu it's much more energy intensive uh, from a hydrocarbon standpoint to produce.